Samsung sent me to CinemaCon in Las Vegas recently, uh, which is basically a convention where movie theater owners go to learn about new sound systems and 3D tech and ticketing solutions and those crazy chairs that move a lot. I really don't like those chairs. But now the reason Samsung was there is because they're breaking into the movie theater industry in a big way. This is the Samsung Onyx, and it's a giant LED screen meant to be used in movie theaters. It's called Onyx, by the way, because of its ability to produce pure black, but we'll talk about that more in a sec. It's essentially a giant 34-foot 4K LED screen that's built out of these panels. Now, honestly, when I heard about this concept, I was like, this is a no-brainer. Why not put a giant TV in a theater, and why have we not actually done this yet? So it turns out we've been using projectors in theaters since 1895 with a switch to using digital projectors in 1999 and haven't changed from that essentially for almost two decades now. Now with the loss of the projector, there are some challenges and some benefits that come with it. Firstly, without a projector, the theater no longer needs a projector room. This means a few things can change. The projector room can be removed or not built in the case of a new theater, saving a ton of money in building costs and additional seats can be added, meaning more potential revenue per showing for the theater. Also, because the image isn't being projected from across the room, there's no need for line of sight with that projector and the screen, which means that seats can be placed higher to the roof and so more stadium-like seating. Less backs of people's heads, yes please. The next thing the Samsung Onyx has over a projector screen is resolution and image quality. The screen comes in a 4K resolution and can show movies back in 4K, 2K, which is what most normal projector screens standard resolution is, by the way, 3D or 2D, and SDR or even HDR. Now we watched an SDR clip of Planet of the Apes followed by an HDR one of the same clip, and there's definitely a difference. If you're not familiar, by the way, HDR stands for high dynamic range and translates to more colors that can be displayed as well as higher bit depth or more shades of each color. Without going into too much technical detail, this basically means brighter whites, deeper blacks, and more vibrant colors. We were also shown a 3D clip, which I unfortunately have no way of showing you with the 3D effect, so you'll have to just trust me when I say that with the 3D glasses we were given, it looked like any other 3D film, just a little bit crisper. Now besides the better quality, the image is also much brighter. It's about 10 times brighter than a standard theater projector screen image at 146 foot Lamberts compared to 14 foot Lamberts. A foot Lambert, by the way, is a unit of measurement that movie theaters and fighter pilots use to judge luminance. And I don't have time to go into it here in this video, but just understand that 146 is better than 14. This means not only is it a brighter image, but you don't need a pitch black theater. Now, of course, you would still get the traditional theater lighting normally, and it would just look even better. But because it doesn't need it, a theater can use it in other settings, like dine-in movies, where some light would be good for service to be able to find the moviegoers, and moviegoers to be able to make sure that they're not stabbing their date with their fork. Now, as well as other situations, like maybe eSports, where people all have ambient laptop light in the room, with the big screen playing the event for onlookers, etc. Now, one of the challenges with having a screen like this is that traditional projector screens in theaters use a sound system that projects the sound through the screen, which just isn't possible with an LED screen. So, Samsung-owned JBL made a custom sound system capable of Dolby Surround 7.1 with some clever speakers positioned above the screen that have been tuned to sound like the sound is coming from the screen. Now, I had a chance to listen to the sound system at the event, and I can say that it just sounds amazing, and it sounds the way that a movie theater should. All in all, it just feels like a no-brainer solution for the movie theater industry that I truly hope just catches on. It'll future-proof theaters for higher resolutions, for HDR, etc., while giving them more seats to earn more revenue per movie, and it's apparently easy to repair. Samsung provides everything needed to set it up as well as extra LED panels for them to easily replace themselves for no downtime while they send the damaged one in for repair. And they last a long time, as we know that LEDs do. Now, right now we don't know if this type of theater is gonna cost more money to go see a movie in, uh, but if it's at least close in price, it just might get me to go to the movie theater more often. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think about this theater, about this video in the comments below. 
Love to hear from you guys, as always. Otherwise, if you like this video, please thumbs up or share. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell next to the word subscribe so that you get notified when I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.